How's it going everyone? My name is Tim Ellsworth. I'm with Isuzu Commercial Truck Product Planning. Uh, we're going to talk about our N-Series, our NRR EV platform that just launched for 25 model year. So as you can see here next to me, this beautiful looking truck, we have some interesting updates on this truck. But before we get into all the cab updates and the interesting stuff we put into this truck, I want to talk to you about the EV platform itself. I'm going to do a very brief overview on the platform just so you guys have kind of an understanding of what we're bringing to the marketplace. This EV truck is going to be offered in one GVWR to start, 19,500 pounds. It's going to be offered in three different wheelbases, a 132-inch wheelbase, a 150-inch wheelbase, and a 176-inch wheelbase. To accommodate this truck, we're going to have four different battery configurations. The four different com battery configurations are a three battery pack setup, which is going to be 60 kilowatt hour battery packs. It'll go to a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack setup, which would include five battery packs, 140 kilowatt hour battery pack setup, which is seven battery packs, and 180 kilowatt hour battery pack setup, which is nine battery packs. And to support the charging of this truck, it's equipped with a combo one charging port that will support both AC and DC charging capabilities. Okay, the next topic I want to talk to you guys about is the cab updates and the refresh that we put into this truck. It's actually a, a brand new cab design from the exterior to the interior. As you'll notice here, we have a completely new front grille setup, a front panel setup, and the LED headlights. So that supports all LEDs on the truck, including the headlights. We'll have clearance and ID lights as LED. We'll have side marker and turn signal lights that are LED, uh, signature lights that are LED. And as I said, the headlights. The only lights that will not be LED on this truck are the tail lights. And that's to support aftermarket body equipment installs that may not require the tail lights or use a different light setup. Uh, in addition to that, you can see we have a new front bumper design. This front bumper is a three piece modular design and it helps with repairs and replacements on the bumper. If you have a, an impact on the side of the bumper or the front of the bumper, you can replace one of three pieces across that bumper. Also from the front of the vehicle, you'll see that we still have the capability of ADAS on this truck or advanced driver assistance systems. Uh, we've made some pretty nice enhancements to the advanced driver assistance systems. We still offer the automatic emergency braking and the lane departure warning system, but we've made changes to the adaptive cruise control system. Now we have a full range adaptive cruise control system. We've also introduced a distance warning system, a miss acceleration mitigation system, and a forward start notification system. So that'll give extra enhancements and extra safety features to the operator of these vehicles when they choose the ADAS package. From here, we're gonna take a look at the changes on the inside of the vehicle. Uh, to start off, it's a, a revamped, completely new interior design, starting with the dash and the instrument cluster. All new dash, all new instrument cluster. We've introduced a seven inch MID with new gauge indicators to really give the appearance of this updated platform. Uh, in addition to the seven inch MID, we have added steering wheel controls to the steering wheel, which will help support the ADOS functions, the cruise control functions, and the interaction with the audio system. But other driver convenience functions that, or features that we've added is a seat or armrest to the driver's seat for that added comfort and ergonomic support. We also introduced an additional safety feature to this truck for the first time in Azuzu's history, driver's side and outboard passenger airbags. Okay, so so far we've talked about the electric vehicle platform, we've talked about the changes to the exterior and the interior of the cab, and I wanna tell you guys one more thing about maybe some features that you can't see. This truck also has a completely new electrical architecture. That electrical architecture is going to support cybersecurity, our advanced driver assistance systems, and input-output controllers that'll help support connected vehicles in the future. So I hope you guys have learned a little bit today uh, about our NRR EV platform. Um, we have some exciting equipment and exciting new products coming in the future. This truck should be available and, and be seen on the road starting an early 2024 calendar year as our 25 model year EV product.